Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Coordinate Geometry. Here are the solutions of exercise 7.2 and this is part 2 video. Dear students, this is exercise 7.2 and question number 3. You see this. Let us read the question now. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3, 10 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6. I shall repeat. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 3, 10 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6. Let us look at the solution now. Here is the solution. You see, we have given two points. Let us name the first point as A and the second point as B. Here, minus 1, 6 may divide the line segment A minus 3, 10 and B, 6 minus 8 in the ratio M1 is to M2. Here, we have to find the ratio. Therefore, let us assume that the ratio is M1 and M2. We know that the internal division formula M1 x2 plus M2 x1 by M1 plus M2. M1 y2 plus M2 y1 by M1 plus M2. This is the internal division formula. In this internal division formula, let us substitute x1 y1 and x2 y2 values. x1 y1 minus 3 10 and x2 y2 6 minus 8. And let us leave m1 m2 as it is. Okay. Now m1 x2, m1 into x2 is 6, m1 into 6 plus m2 x1, m2 is m2 only plus into x1, x1 means minus 3 by m1 plus m2. Again, m1 y2, m1 into y2 is minus 8 plus m2 y1, m2 into y1 is 10 divided by m1 plus m2. This is equal to 6 into m1 is 6 m1 minus 3 into m2 is minus 3 m2 by m1 plus m2. Again, minus 8 m1 plus 10 into m2 is 10 m2 by m1 plus m2. Here we have given that the 6 m1 minus 3 m2 by m1 plus m2 minus 8 m1 plus 10 m2 by m1 plus m2 is equal to the point minus 1 6 because we are finding the ratio in which this point divide these two given points. Therefore, minus 1 6 is equal to this point. If two points are equal, then their respect to x coordinate should be equal and their respect to y coordinate should be equal. Now, if we equate the x coordinates, 6 m1 minus 3 m2 by m1 plus m2 is equal to minus 1. Let us bring this m1 plus m2 to the other side. Then 6 m1 minus 3 m2 is equal to Minus 1 into m1 is minus m1. Minus 1 into m2 is minus m2. Let us bring m1 terms to one side. 6m1 minus m1 other side plus m1 is equal to minus 3m2 other side plus 3m2 and minus m2. 6m1 plus 1m1 is 7m1. 3m2 minus 1m2 is 2m2. Or m1 by m2 is equal to 2 divided by 7. Or m1 is to m2 is equal to 2 is to 7. Therefore, the ratio in which the point minus 1, 6 divide the line segment is 2 is to 7. Is it clear? Now, let us look at question number 4. If 1, 2, 4y, x6 and 3, 5 are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order, then find the values of x and y. I shall repeat, if 1, 2, 4y, x6 and 3, 5 are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order, then find the values of x and y. This question is also one of the important questions. If you observe this diagram, I have given four points, A, B, C, D. These four are the vertices of the parallelogram. We have given the values. Let us assume that the first point is A and the second point is B, third is C and fourth vertex is D. As you know that in a parallelogram, the diagonals are bisecting each other. Let us find the midpoint of the diagonal AC. 
let us find the midpoint of the diagonal AC and let us find the midpoint of the diagonal BD. First of all, midpoint of the diagonal AC is equal to formula x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. x1, y1 coordinates of A and x2, y2 coordinates of C. x1 plus x2 by 2 means 1 plus x divided by 2. y1 plus y2 by 2 means 2 plus 6 divided by 2. What is 1 plus x? 1 plus x is 1 plus x only divided by 2. And what is 2 plus 6? 8 by 2. This is equal to 1 plus x by 2, comma, 2 in 8, 4 times. This is the midpoint of the first diagonal AC. Midpoint of the first diagonal AC. Now, let us find the midpoint of the second diagonal BD. This is the diagonal BD. Let us find the midpoint of the diagonal. Here, B coordinates 4, Y and D coordinates 3, 5. B coordinates may be x1, y1 and D coordinates will be x2, y2. Now, the again midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3 by 2. y1 plus y2 means y plus 5 divided by 2. What is 4 plus 3? 7 by 2 and this is y plus 5 by 2 only. Therefore, the midpoint of the second diagonal is 7 by 2, y plus 5 by 2. This is the second midpoint. As we know that ABCD is a parallelogram, it is given in the question that the ABCD is a parallelogram. Therefore, the midpoint of the diagonal AC should be equal to the midpoint of the second diagonal BD. Therefore, let us equate these two midpoints. That is 1 plus x by 2 comma 4 is equal to 7 by 2 comma y plus 5 by 2. These two points are equal. If once two points are equal, then their x coordinate should be same and their y coordinate should be equal. If we equate the x coordinates, 1 plus x by 2 is equal to 7 by 2. You can cancel by 2 and by 2. 1 plus x is equal to 7 and x is equal to 7 plus 1 other side minus 1 and 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And if we equate the y coordinates, y plus 5 by 2 is equal to 4 and y plus 5 is equal to 2 into 4 is 8 and y is equal to 8 minus 5 which is equal to 3 and therefore x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. We need those two values x and y. x value we got it as 6 and y value we got it as 3. Therefore x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3 are the values of x and y. Is it clear students? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ananda.